Hey everyone. I am just writing because I'm um, I'm so used to writing. I'm just doing a video um just because I was going to do a blog today um writing and I just um decided that me talking is better. So quick rant, quick um testimony whatever you want to say. I just got my nails done. I love my nails. I have short nails. I just got my nails done at a nail salon. And, you know, um, I went yesterday and they were booked um, or they were full or whatever. I was on my lunch break, so I came today. Luckily, nobody was there. I had a conversation with the nail technician basically saying, you know, she, because um, I did tell her, I was like, I came yesterday. Um, you're a fool and I didn't go nowhere else. I came back here because I like the way you do my nails. She said, oh, thank you. You know, and then we went on into a conversation where she said, you know, um, you know, if we're, you know, booked or, you know, we're full, people go places and they, um, they discovered that in other places, you know, what you get is normally $25, but you know, we charge $35 and you know, they get mad and they, um, say well you know why do you charge so much or whatever and she said because I, <laughs> it's blessed me because she said I know what I'm worth she said basically she said she knows she does a good job with nails she said that she know the way that she does the nail and everything she was like so you can go to those $25 places I'm not going to charge you $25 and charging you $35 and she said little do they know they come back here when their nail two days later chip or when they're nailed their paint chips you know so she said you know this is what I'm worth I know that you know I, it's $35 but I know that my stuff lasts a long time and so that kind of blessed me because I did a um I ain't gonna say a sermon but I talked um at our my church's 50 shades of pink and i said you know singles pe singles have to know what they're worth and um if she's if she went on with the customer and said well you know what since you want to offer 25 that's what i'm going to charge you know, she would not make any money, but she knows what she's worth. So she said, you can go some other place, but you're going to come back. And so that's what I want to encourage someone. Um, I'm going, I was going to write it, but it just felt like I had to talk about it. You have to know what you're worth. You have to know what God has said about you as a queen you do not lower your value because of what someone wants to offer you. Because singles get so frustrated and they're saying, well, you know, maybe my expectations are too high. Maybe I need to lower them. Whatever the word of God says your husband um, should be. This is for single ladies what your husband should be and for single men what your wife should be you should not lower that so you can settle down with a man this is the word of god he calls us to be christians first before marriage and everything else he calls us to be christians so if you're not exemplifying christian behavior the fruits of the spirit in galatians ephesians um you know, the man of God, Proverbs 31, if you're not exemplifying these behaviors, if you're not exemplifying these behaviors, then you are just basically setting yourself up for a failure if you, if you try to settle down just because you're lonely, just because you want somebody. I know it's easier said than done, but it's so worth it in the end. So know your worth. And the only reason why I found that nail place, it's just the little things. One day, like a month or two ago, I only had my lunch break to, you know, go get my nails done and do all of my stuff. So I actually paused because the word of God says, acknowledge him in all your ways and he will direct your path. I was on my way to another nail salon 
which I, I liked them before. It was okay. Um, but I said, okay, God, I need to utilize and make use of my one hour window of my lunch. And I paused and I said, on my way, and I said, God, where do you want me to go? Because I, on my way, I saw this nail salon that I go to now. And I said, oh, there's a new nail salon. So Lord, guide me, where should I go? And I was led to go to that nail place. And that's where I've been ever since, like two months ago. I have been to four other different locations around my area and no nail salon has done my nails quite like what she charged and even though she charged more I am willing to pay that for the quality of service so it's not what the quantity is doing because the quantity is charging um, $25 or whatever they charge so they can get more customers she said no this is what I charge but it's worth it so, and it is because I love it and I'm never, I, I told her as long as I live in this area, I'm not going anywhere. So I encourage you to understand your worth, understand what God says about you, um, respond like what God says about you by, um, in your actions, and then do not settle, do not settle do not settle because you're lonely. Do not settle because you want a man. Do not settle because you want a wife. Do not settle because you want a husband. Know your worth. Know what God has said about you. And just wait for that. Because if you let down your expectations and what God says you should have, you're going to set yourself up for frustration later. So listen to me know your worth just like the um analogy with the nail salon she said i know what i charge i know what i want but it's worth it just know that you're worth it too amen